So now let's now go to task. This is our task. Let me where is it self? I think this first one is just a bash. It's just to write a bash script. And um, for this first one, it has nothing to do with the the fabric whatsoever. It's just a bash script. So but if you guys still want us to do this, maybe we'll do it. But at least our priority today is fab fabric. So let's deal with fabric. I know that at least we have gotten somewhere. So now if you look at what they said here, they say write a fabric script that generates a dot tgz archive from the contents of the web static folder of your Airbnb. Now in this case, this is now our permit me to move the web static folder from my Airbnb to this our folder we are using practically. So I'm coming let me let me open another shell tab so I hope I'm not taking you guys time I see that it's already an hour so I just I just wanted to 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 make sure I break it down this way so that at least everybody will understand how this fab works so that it's not be as if we are doing magic So web statics, web statics, where's the web statics? Good. So this is the web statics directory. So uh, I'm going to copy it. CP web static. Then I'll I'll copy it to print working directory. I'll copy it to this. Ah flag R okay recursive that's true since there are made the other things inside of the web statics good so I think that's copied it yes good so now we have our web static inside here so we can go on so look at what he says he says write a fabric script that generate a dot tgz archive from the contents of the web static folder of your Airbnb clone repo using the function do pack so you see here they say we should use function do pack it has a prototype dev do underscore pack and this right all files in the folder web static must be added to the final archive all archive must be stored in the folder versions that's in bracket your function should create this folder if it doesn't exist next the name of your archive created must be web static underscore ye month day hour minute second dot tgz the function do pack must return the archive path if the archive have been correctly generated otherwise it should return none now anytime you are dealing with something like this right what you should watch out for now if you remember why we are running our command i don't know why the command normally erase you find out that the command always speak for itself from here, it's trying to tell you that it's running this command, and what it's using to run this command is actually the run directive. So here too, what they are trying to tell you here is that what they are using to run this command is actually the local directive. I remember what I told you about local directive. Local will just create, will just run it locally on your machine. It will not do it on your server, just locally on your machine. So now, here, they have given us a tip already. Remember what they say, it will return the path, right? So, now, if you look at it here, where is it? Um, ah, what is this thing they do? Uh -huh. Look at where they run, run the command, fab, name of file, do pack. And this is what happened, packing this to this, right? And then, it now run the command, which is after packing it to this folder. So let's come back to this project and analyze what and what is needed of us. Number one, since we know that we are actually running fabric, because they say we should write a fabric script, uh, script. So let's start from that. Let's copy the name of our file. And then let's vim into it. So remember, first of all, we have our hash bank slash usr slash bin slash m then python 3 right now 
please remember to include comments in your real code so that it will check if not you know those people they used to look, uh, look for uh what are they calling itself just use my code style to check so you can just copy ah, wow you can just copy this one then you just break it down so you can just break it down So just anything it could be one line must not be this long now remember since we are writing a fabric script first of all we need to import the api of the fabric so import a uh, fabric dot api right sorry from chai from fabric dot api we import star that's you're importing everything since we are not even sure which one we'll use which one we'll not use so let's just import everything so now what is the function they ask us to write they say we should write def do pack and of course it's not taking any any this thing parameter so let's look at it closely now all files in the folder web static must be added to the final archive of course this one is not even the issue because that's the work of the archive command that's the tar command so this one is not even the issue now i say all archive must be stored in the folder versions that's your function should create this folder if it doesn't exist so are you seeing where it's starting from number one if folder does not exist it should be created right so it means that first i remember i told you that this command was not actually run on the server you understand that's why the fact they still uh, uh, want you to run it on the server i think i saw something like that if i'm not mistaken uh, am i am i sure did they say anything like that well i don't know but it seems i ran mine okay no i do not run mine on the server i just remember now so since if you look at from here say, even though they use local and if you check here it's saying local host that means they did not run it on the server yet so it means we have to use the local directive now first of all what are we, do we want to create remember they say it should create this folder versions if the folder does not exist your function should create this folder if it doesn't exist so we'll do you can decide to add sudo to it if you like sudo mkdir flag p remember why what i talked about flag p why creating a directory I say so that in case if the directory exists your program will not return an error instead it will proceed and continue its work right good so remember always put this your flag p now what the name of our folder is version now we are very sure that what once we run this one what will happen is that it's going to create uh, our what are they calling it is going to create our our directory name versions now i know somebody might say ah we have not added environment host we have not added key now remember what i told you this particular task is the goal is to run it locally on your machine so since we are running it locally once you use local you don't have any need for any form of connection you understand is once you are running things like run put get sudo that's when you need to add all those your host but for now we are running everything locally so we don't need a host so to even begin with let's run this one because that's how i i normally code i code little test code a little test that way it helps me to understand what is going on now for me to just keep on writing code at the end i test and i don't even understand what is going on so this small one that we have just even written let's even test it is it working so let's save the file now remember to run this one we use fab you use flag f to indicate one dash this is the name now what do we want to run remember what is the name of our function do pack so do pack and then we enter so you see now watch something just look at something ah it worked too ah, ah, it worked well well that's good but i think we use the normal sudo command it wouldn't have worked 
and unless we added that we add that pty something i told you earlier so let's now ls and check now if you check initially there was no folder or directly directory called versions but now if you look at now you see that with this command we just ran we just ran it actually created a folder for us called versions now this is the advantage of using flag p let's say we want to run the command again you see it will not create an error but i didn't mean we we did not include this flag p now let's go and remove the flag p and see what will happen let's just run the command now did you see it will definitely throw an error now imagine that you have other commands coming after this command you find out that because of this single error created by this all other commands will not run so that's why it's very important one thing once it has to do with making directory copying directory always put your flag p very important so one is done right now let's go on you now say the name of your archive created must be this now it's not just telling you to create archive it's not telling you you should not create archive with a particular new type of naming convention now if you look at the first one say yeah if you check here here we have 2017 that's the year the next one say month if you check here 03 that's the month that's March day if you check here 14 and then minutes if you check probably the minutes should be maybe 23 or 233 uh, I'm not too sure then lastly second which is this final one then dot tgz now if you look at this one if you remember the tax we Airbnb clone the console the first task we did you can remember that we use something called date time to get year, month, day, hour, and minute. I don't know if somebody remembers. Uh, I don't know if somebody yeah, remembers. Yes. Okay. Engineer, you are welcome, sir. So people, so <laughs> when, I mount, when I mount like this, when I don't tell me, Kai, it is where you guys are welcome. <laughs> All right, so now it means that for us to be able to achieve this, we now need that date time of 18. And remember, when we are importing it, when we are about to use it in our project, Airbnb uh, clone the console, we say from date time, right? Import date time. Now, we have imported date time. Now, is to, how do we now use this date time? Of course, you know, this date time we are now importing. Of course, what is going to happen is that it will come in form of a an object. Right? It will come in form of an object. So, but first of all, after we we'll first of all get it in form of that object as it is, then after that, we will now turn it back to a string. Right? And there are different ways of doing that. I think I saw about two to three different ways of doing that. But the one I used and the one I enjoy was using... You know, I told you guys that I will, I will teach you just like you I used to do my task. So it's using str. Is it str fill something something? Str f. Is it time? I'm not sure. Let me let me confirm. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, I would have preferred. Okay. No problem. So let's check uh, this one. Str f time. Good. So you can see. How they were able to implement it from date time import date time next they now created a variable that now stored the object now this date time dots now what is going to do is going to return everything about time at that instance that's date under the date you know your date is now year month day then under your time you know how it is hour minute seconds so everything now for you to now get year use percentage why for you to get month percentage small letter m for you to get uh, day percentage small letter d then for you to get hour percentage capital letter h for you to get minutes percentage capital letter m and for you to get seconds percentage uh, capital letter s now if you look at what they want us to do here right they are simply saying we should join combine everything just like how they did here they combine everything here so following 
what they did where is it following what they did here it means now we can now say now or you can use any variable you can use t t is equal to date time right dot now now we have called the function now the next thing is for us to string string gify it or whatever thing <laughs> you call it so i'll call it um t str that's time string right and then remember i stored the object into t so is the t is the object and to stringify so i'll use t dot s t r f time right now remember we are we have to join everything starting from ye then month then day then hour then minute then seconds so we now have inside this place percentage y remember ye is capital letter y percentage m percentage d percentage capital letter h for hour percentage capital letter m for minute and then percentage capital letter s for second now just like i said me i don't know of others for everything i do in my program i like to print and check to be sure that that's what uh, what i'm expecting is what i'm getting so now let's print this our t underscore str and see if that's what we are going to get so uh, we are going to call our fab and then call the name of the function do pack so now do we see what is happening do you see what it generated now of course we are in the year 2023 this is the 12th month which is december today is 18th look at it 18th right and is the problem is just that the minutes that we might not be able to confirm okay we can also confirm the minute though 21 so i think this 9 is 21 right then 16 is the minute 21 is the hour 16 is the minute then 25 should be the seconds right uh -huh. So it means this one that we have done now is working so let's go back to our project and see so look at what they say the name of the archive created must be this so it means the archive that we want to create from the web server the name how, uh, from the web statics uh, directory the name have to be web static underscore then this one here that's our this very one here so any other thing okay we have created this already i remember they say that it should be created inside this look at it all archives must be stored in the folder this so let's see dot tgz isn't it so they say the function do pack must return the archive path if the archive have been correctly generated so we'll still do this but for now let's focus on this now how do we create an archive we actually create an archive most actually dot tgz there are different kinds of uh, archive your zip is an example of archive dot zip your ra is an example of archive dot ra there are different so many others dot tg and the rest so but now they were specific they say dot tgz now for you to generate a dot tgz archive this is the command you use use your ta command then use your this your flag cvzf now what is c i think c is trying to say compile right v this v now is because of this v that you are seeing all these things the process of it working and this v is actually it actually means verbos so verbos mostly you in the, you you actually include v in your command anytime you want to see the working process of your command if we exclude this v now believe me you after this command that ran here the next command that we come is this one and this one too is something that we, we have to implement by ourselves but you see from here it's as a result of this archive this command actually trying to put everything together in an archive so and this this z now is you using is more like what will help you to achieve this dot tgz archive i think it's called is this z compression I've, I've forgotten honestly then this f Waiting F even me. See, I don't know. Later, what should happen is that go to your man page. You can man ta. Uh, you see, you see the explanation for some of these things there. So uh alright. So where are we? One no vessel. I don't talk too much. But hope you are good. This under the area is just silent. 
Hey, no be that I'm the only one talking to myself. Okay, okay, no problem. Okay, so since we are now sure that what is stored in our Tidal string is this part of this one here. Now, how do we generate? You see already they have even given you the command that ever they have given you expo from here. They have already given you expo self. So, what we need to do is just to run this command. But this time around, we have to run it locally. Remember, I told you everything we are running here is locally. That's why I see even our connection, we did not indicate our servers. So, we use local. Then inside local, we run our tag. In fact, this same command, the only change is this part here that we change. But every other thing, the same command. So, I'll just copy it. They say a software engineer is lazy. So, let me be lazy today. Now, remember, this aspect of the code was supposed to come from this, our T underscore string. So, we'll remove this part and then bring in our T underscore str. Now, in this case, it depends. If you are using F string, then you can do it this way. I believe we all know F string. If what you are using... You want to use format dot format then you can do it this way you remove the f you just include this one like this and then at the end you put dot format and then your t dot str i believe this one is something i don't need to explain so you either use your f string or use your format anyone you feel comfortable with is still the same thing it will still give you the same result so just that sometimes like it might complain that it's too long in that case you don't need to be afraid you can just cut it from here and before you cut it you can actually do something like this this one what it simply means is that from here it will continue as though this one is on the same line so i know that's one of the things you might be afraid of maybe it's too long but you can actually solve it the issue of being too long here in this uh, case so let me comment out this second one Come here, I love F, F, F string. I'm a lover of F string. So, now, is there anything? Already, what will happen here is that this star, it will actually archive this one. Where is it safe? It will archive this folder. You know, we already have this web statics folder here in this present directory we are in now. It will archive this folder, giving it this name. Now, what will happen is that this aspect of the name will be generated by this which is based on the present time at which you are running the code right then it will go and create this the archive it will create it inside of this directory called versions with this name so i don't know if there's any question just like i said we have not actually put considered this yet you understand where i say the function do pack must return the archive part if the archive has been correctly generated Otherwise, it should return none. So it's something we'll still implement. But for now, let's be doing it bit by bit and make sure our code is working. So I'm going to save it now and then run the code. So fab. So what do we have? Versions cannot write broken. Ah, uh, error is not recoverable. Exiting now cannot open permission denied okay now why is it denying we have versions here now yeah no problem if that's the case i think maybe we'll just add sudo to it since it's not giving us permission so anything i have to do with permission like so far that i've seen if you are running a command on this fabric and it's talking about permission just add sudo to the command and then try it again so let's try it again and see so did you see it created the directory because it was not sure whether the directory versions existed or is existing or not it created then the next thing now you see that in our code what we actually did was to append the the uh, time now time now you can see this 2023 12 december 18 today 21 which is 9 24 which is this particular minute and then look at the seconds here so let's now confirm if this thing have actually if it has created it so let's move to our versions so our versions directory and ls now did you see that the archive have been created exactly how they want 
expect it to be created so this is how you go about it then if you look at the ending right they actually printed something which is what the file and then the size of the file so now let's go back to our code and implement it hey okay imagine mm -hmm. so now what we are going to do is we are going to first of all we'll first even check how can we actually get the file the size of a file in python now let's assume we don't even know this is our first time so it's just for us to come how to get size of directory or file in python okay so i like to always go to stack overflow because it gives you can also use chat gpt oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not using I'm not using ChatGPT for this class. I'm not be advised to use it too. Uh -huh. I'm bad AI, so that somebody will not deprive himself of it. So it's just that these DevOps most at times the answers ChatGPT give Kai is frustrating. So I rather go with this. Uh, what are they calling it? Stack Overflow. So you see different suggestions, but there's one I'm looking for is the one they imported. They actually imported from OS. They made use of OS. So let me see if this is it. They made use of get uh, get size. Because that one is, is a bit I, I prefer that one. It's it's short for me, I beg. Although like all those other ones that I'm seeing some kind of long code. Let me see. Using get size from OS on Python so uh, okay okay so you can see is os dot part dot get size but if you don't want to go if you want to just use maybe just get size right what you can do maybe you can say from os import os dot part right so by that doing now if you want to call it you just call get size so either you call it this way or you go so i don't know which one you prefer so me what i'm going to do is that from here i'll go and import so I'll say from OS import OS dot path. Yes. So I will now come. So what I'm going to do, first of all, let me even implement it and see uh, if it's going to to work. So let me say uh, f size. That's file size. Now I'm going to call the the function get size. And then what am I putting? The full part to this. Now the full part to this. Where is it? Permit me. Let me get the full size. Okay. Since we are in this directory already, it means it's just uh, web statics. Then name of our our file, isn't it? So let me go back. Because if you look at how it's being displayed here, where is it? You can see that is the name of your full file dot t g z and the rest versions so what i'm going to do since we are, we are our file these are code is inside the directory already so we'll just call versions slash web underscore static underscore now of course is what we are generating presently that's what we want to actually get the size what we are generating presently so in that case you know what you are generating is actually stored here right it's stored here so what you can do just like what we did here we'll do the same thing also dot t g z and then this one now we'll put it inside uh okay before we even do this right 
sorry because i don't think this f uh, get size accept uh, f string so let's put it into an f string first so let's say f part that's file part let's put it in an f spring, uh, string first so i have versions slash web underscore static underscore now what we want to put here is the t string str the time string right then dot t g z right uh -huh. good so here now i can now just come here and feed it the file part f part so now i'm going to print f size so that will confirm if actually is working so let me let's run the fab okay so he's saying invalid syntax from os import os dot parts ah, is it not correct uh you should come and bail me out here oh. os dot parts yeah so just i think we should just try to import os and just use os dot parts okay okay no problem so i was thinking i implemented mine this way but anyways so let's just import os and then use what they use so import os and then from here what did they even say os dot part dot get size all right so let's try it and see so what are they saying on indent indentation yeah okay it's, be it's because of this let me just move that one out all right so let's check good so you can see the size here is actually printing the size for us yes telling us that the size is 1950 and the size is actually if you enter and use this right to get the size is actually in bytes b y t e s so now since we are sure that is now working we can now come back and check here where is it how they printed theirs so you can see how they printed theirs so let's implement the same thing so here now we'll say print we'll let's even copy it itself from here yeah then let's now start making necessary changes so web pack of course we we'll use an f string so this one now here will actually be the name of or the dates or the time what are they calling it t s t r right then this one now will be the the this thing what are they calling it the file size so f underscore size or this one save the whole of this if you like the whole of this we can just replace it with f part uh, but if you do it the previous way it will still work but since this f part will actually occupy everything we get everything here we can actually just come and then place it here then this one the f size will be here so let's okay sorry i did not close it so i think yeah so now let's run it and see so you can see we are getting almost the same thing web static packed version this is the file our file that was just created now the tgz then the the size of our file okay so i think that's that's all for this task this task sake I, I, I don't think you need to run it on your server but did i run it on my server can't even remember that's just even the truth i don't think you need to run it on your server so any question i don't think we actually have to run the server because i think we're still trying to like compress from our local machine uh -huh. exactly so, exactly 
Well done. Thank you. Eh, hey, congratulations. You're the one that graduated recently, right? Yay. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. I, I just saw a picture now. Yes. Now from Twitter. Yes. Uh, like oh it was god. even the name. It was the name I saw. I was like, wow. Congratulations, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So but I hope everybody understands this, what we just did. Yeah. Uh-huh. So for your own, like I wanted us to implement this, but now you can go back and do this yourself. That's must return the archive part if the archive have been correctly uh, have been correctly generated. Otherwise, it should return none. So what you will be checking, that one you you should go and figure it yourself. What you should be checking is this part, is it like a valid? Where is it self? Uh-huh. And this it, this part here now, this F file part, is it valid? If yes then the next thing we'll just do is to return but make sure you print before you return you know at every point of return your program start your program terminate so if you return before you do this print the print will not work so what you just do is you return f part so that is that's that for this particular 